Hey there, I'm Keith. I'm Krista. And we're the Duprees. Today we are walking you through what we pack in our park bag. So um, typically we bring a backpack into the parks with us. Now that Loungefly has become a thing, sometimes I'll bring a Loungefly bag in um, as well. It's a lot smaller, um, more compact, so um, you typically will still bring. I'm usually the muscle of the group, so <laughs> doesn't matter how big or small it is, I'm gonna be carrying it. Yeah, we have a new backpack for this coming trip with the beautiful birds on it, like um, Enchanted Tiki Room. So this will be our trip bag, and then I think um, one or two days I'll have a lounge fly bag with me as well. Um, a recent purchase I made, um, it goes inside of the backpack. It's a little insert, and um, I really liked this um, because you can take it out of your bag and put it into other bags really easily, so everything that's in the insert, you just transfer it over if you're changing bags per day or park. Um, really easy. It's like a vinyl material, so you can wipe it down if it gets anything on sticky. it. Sticky. yeah, messy. Um, but also, you're putting all your stuff inside of this insert instead of the bag, so it helps keep the lining of your bag. If it's a lounge fly or if it's a nicer bag, you keep it nice and clean too. So let me grab that. The insert I got looks something like this. It is blue with little flamingos on it. I thought this was just a really fun print. Um, it's got a little zipper pocket in the back and a little pocket right here um, with elastic on the top. The front of the pouch has two pouches on the top. There are two pouches on the inside, a pouch on the back, um, three pouches on the front, a zipper pouch, and then two pouches on the front of that. And then there's the space in the center. Uh, there's a lot of- That's a lot of pouches. A lot of pouches, a lot of <laughs> compartments. So. Pretty much everything we need in our bag is in here. Let me walk you through what we have in our um, backpack. So in the very back. This is a surprise for me as well. <laughs> yeah, let me know if I've forgotten anything. Um, I have a lot of trouble with motion sickness and things like that. So for my rides, I pack in the bag. Um, I've got these little clamps as well as these little bracelets. Um, they're both acupressure devices that help with um, motion and all of that. So I have these ready. Still can't ride Star, star Tours though. No Star Tours, no, <laughs> or Mission Space. Well, yeah. Star Tours. Star Tours is a little bit better. A mission little... Space is a little too intense. Yeah, um, not my friend. So um, I have that. I also have in the little zipper part in the back, a little case here. <laughs> so this has um, Dramamine, um, ibuprofen, nausine, pretty much all of the medication if I've got headache or emotion problems. Feel good pills. Yeah, yeah. So um, pack this and just restock it every day if I need it um, for the park or if you happen to. But if anyone in our party needs something, I've got it, I'm sure. <laughs> I also have um, this towel here. This, um, so it's a quick absorbing towel. Also, it keeps you really cool. So if you wet it down, um, it's supposed to help your body temperature somewhere like 30 degrees, something mm. like that. So um, I think it's still going to be pretty hot when we go. So I thought this would be really cool to try. Yeah. Um, if someone gets really hot, they can use this. Also, if we get really hot, um, this is a little portable hand fan. Actually, it's pretty big, bigger than my hand. It has three different power settings and it has a rechargeable battery that lasts a really long time. I think this will last a full day. Oh, good. Um, but if it's hot out or if we're standing in line since we'll be in masks, um, I thought this could help cool us down. So we have this fan. Also one that's just a bit smaller. You can clip it to your belt loop or just have it out if you need it. But this is a battery operated little handheld fan as well. So um, lots of things to keep us cool during this trip. Feels good, right? <sighs> <laughs> It is also probably going to still be a rainy season, so we're expecting some rain. Um, we'll check the weather each day, whether or not I want to throw an umbrella. It'll probably rain every day. So I have my little mini umbrella in the backpack if we need that. Um, but we've also packed a couple little emergency ponchos, so just something quick to throw on and cover our clothes if we need that. Um, we won't let a little rain slow us down or stop us, so nope. we've got our ponchos. Um, I also have quite a bit, and now this is something I did even before COVID hit. Um, I like to be nice and clean, but we've got a little pocket um, hand sanitizer. I also have a couple little hand sanitizer sprays. So you can just spray down the surface, whatever you need. 
Um, all the handrails. All the handrails. Yeah, so for <clears throat> rides, especially things like Toy Story Mania or, you know, rides where you have to touch on things that a lot of people are touching, I like to clean, clean, be clean. Um, so on that note, I also have a little Ziploc baggie of some Clorox wipes, and then I have some antibacterial wet ones. Uh, wet ones. So like, we'll be washing our hands, but you know, for meals, wiping down table, whatever we need to do, we've got wipes, we've got spray, we've got hand gel. I've got um, a hand <laughs> gel attached to the backpack. backpack, so that's We're covered. All, that's you know easily accessible. We're good to go. Um, I also have these towels um these are my best friend i love these they are urban essentials they are peppermint towelettes the peppermint helps if i have the motion sickness or if i have a really bad headache or migraine or the nausea the peppermint helps with that um so they are infused with that peppermint they smell they're pretty strong they smell really good and these are really helpful so i always pack a couple of these towels as well for this particular trip i am still recovering from an ankle injury so i'm packing something to help with the amount of walking we're doing. Um, I'm expecting it to be a bit uncomfortable towards the end of the day. So I have this, um, it's a little bag. If my ankle gets, um, starts swollen. swelling or anything like that, I can get a cup of ice from the park, fill this up and just sit and ice my ankle for a little bit. And yeah, they're more than happy to give you ice at the park. So that, that'll be good to yeah. have at the end of the day. So just, you know, for emergency purposes, I could be fine, but you never know. I haven't walked a full day since hurting it. <laughs> On the same line of injuries, I'm also packing. I've got some very large band-aids and then I have a little case here, um, has mini on it. Um, and this has different size band-aids on it, uh, in it. Um, so we've got the little tiny ones, we've got the waterproof ones, the stretch flex, different sizes. So if someone were to get a blister or a cut, whatever, we are covered. Um, we've got more than enough band-aids. We've got our battery pack back up here. Um, that's just one of them. We that's have just another one. one. <laughs> we have two. Um, so when we're using the app, now we might not have to use it as much since we're not looking at fast passes mm. and things like that. But um, check on wait times, checking and wait times. restaurants and all that uh, will need to be having our app open, which will take up battery power on our phones. So have a little okay. charger here. So we've got a charger. There is in the front pocket is just where I um, have packed my phone. It fits perfectly in there actually, right in there all by itself. I have also packed, um, here's some more medicine, um, these oil absorbing sheets. So it's gonna be really hot, getting really sweaty. If we need to um, wipe our face or anything like that, got some clean and clear sheets for that might even be helpful for you, you never yeah. know. Inside of the zipper pockets, um, where it's a little bit more tucked away, I've got um, just the essentials that I need for my cards um, and you as well. We can pack them both in there if we want to. Mm -hmm. um, our IDs, uh, debit, credit, cash, whatever we need, we can fit it in this little card reader. Um, mine is tangled, I love mm -hmm. it. But this is very compact and fits easily in that little um, compartment in the front. That pretty much covers everything that's in the insert. Inside of just the regular backpack, uh, outside of that insert, I've got the umbrella. And then there is a pocket in the back of the backpack. I packed away um, a pair, extra pair of socks. Um, if we get wet on a ride, no one wants to walk around in wet socks. Definitely. Or, um, you know, blister, whatever. If we need to change them, we've got those. And also there is, um, we had the small ponchos. <clears throat> I packed a larger poncho this one's a little bit more durable than just that little plastic sheet so if it's really really raining and we need some more or better coverage we've got a big poncho in the back this backpack has um, a front pocket right here and inside of this front pocket i'll probably put maybe some more wipes in there but i have a little coin bag um, and inside of here i'm going to put my pins for trading so they're easily accessible if we do any pin trading in the parks um, and then not here are um, face masks. So I'll have a little bag um, with some clean face masks in there so we can switch those out if we get sweaty, hot, whatever. Um, and then a bag to put the dirty ones in, probably a Ziploc bag so we can seal that away. It's not gonna be cold. Typically I'd pack like a sweater or something, but I don't think we'll be needing that this no, trip. No, not this time. Um, we normally go around December time. So September will be- It's uh, gonna be a different animal for sure. A different, different time, yeah. Um, I think that's about it. Did I leave anything out that you normally would put in there? Um, I am going to be wearing hats every day, 
But will we have sunscreen in the backpack at all? Oh yeah, I do have a travel size sunscreen we'll pack. Um, we'll have our sunglasses. And then if we want to put our hat in here or our ears, there's plenty of room to throw those in the bag um, if we need to take them off for rides or whatnot. So um, plenty of space in the backpack. Um, I also packed uh, just an oversized um, plastic bag. So um, if we were to go on uh, Splash Mountain or Cali River Rapids, the whole backpack will actually fit inside of that bag. Um, that way we can keep everything in the backpack and all of that dry. Um, so it just tucks right in there. Protect the bag. Yeah, um, which is important because we'll have our, our phone, our camera, and yeah. pretty much everything else um, battery powered and all of that. So I think that about covers it. We, we come prepared <laughs> and it's not super heavy. I mean, it's, just... it's a lot of stuff, but it's a lot of lightweight stuff. So yeah. I'll be okay. Don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> we can take turns. No. I'll, I'll, I'll do some heavy lifting. <laughs> I like to do it. It's fine. And it's, my it's job. the cutest backpack ever. I love this. I think that about covers it. If there's anything we left out of the essentials that you normally pack, let us know in the comments and we can be sure to uh, add that in if we think that's something we'll need. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.